gonna head out to school today. I don't got class, but I, um, I'm gonna work on a lot of stuff. I'm gonna work on a lot of video editing, which I might show how I do it, partly because it gives me something to film, but I don't really got anything going on. Tomorrow, actually, I'm gonna start my first day of my new job. I don't know if I actually feel comfortable sharing what my job is online, because it's one of those places where when you work at it, it, um, you know, they just have, like, certain things gets posted online. I will say it is me working at a theme park, but it's about all I want to say. I, I don't want to say anything specific, even if you could easily figure it out. I just don't want to say what I'm doing, because then that leaves me open to saying, you know, getting in trouble, so. Uh, but I start my new job at a theme park tomorrow, and I'm really excited. Uh, extremely excited. So it'll be, it'll be interesting. It'll be the first time I actually work out of food since I worked at Marshalls when I was 18, so or it'll, it'll, be, it'll be a nice thing coming along. But until that, yeah, I'm really, really excited for it. Getting in through the campus. Man, we got such a big campus, too. Super nice. I'll say that our parking pass is actually quite cheap. It's like, what, $45 a semester? Man, when I was going to, when I was talking to my mom, she went to the uh, UMKC one and over in Kansas City, and I was like, wow, how much is the parking pass? She said, $150 a semester. I was like, what the hell? That's literally the entire year's worth of parking here, and we barely find parking. To be fair, it's in the city over at UMKC, but still, regardless, everything there was more expensive. This university is actually quite cheap, all things considered. I mean, tuition here, if you're in state, it's like $212 a credit hour there. You get like 600 a credit hour in state. I was like, wow. It's pretty cool, though. Very nice campus. I'm gonna go do some editing in the library. We have a, such a cool library. I'm building another one on the back of it. They're expanding it, which hopefully they should be adding a back entrance to it. But otherwise, yeah, we're doing good. I really want to take a bike. I really want to take the bike. And I want to go around and just start riding places. Not really to commute, because God only knows how long that takes to get down there from here. Like, to get across town takes like two and a half hours biking. So I was like, no. But I think on a weekend one day, I might just like, if it's a day that I know it's not gonna be like pouring rain the entire day, I might ride my bike to the coast. One of these days I want to kind of ride my bike across the state. And maybe take like a sleeping bag with me and just kind of sleep on the curb or whatever. Or like on the side of the road. <laughs> That'd be fun. No, just, it'd just be something to do. Something like I've never done that's modern day hitchhiking. Because you can't hitchhike anymore without risking a lot of things. Because it's just too dangerous. It really is. Um, picking up somebody's not as bad. But getting picked up, you just don't know who's going to pick you up. You don't know if it's a just a cool guy who's just trying to help out. You know, maybe a guy who hitchhiked when he was young. But... Even though people don't pitch a pick, pick up hit checkers anymore, it's just not as common. Back in the day, it didn't matter what, everybody would just be like, oh, let's help them out. I wonder if in France and Germany and England and all these countries, if you could still do that. Do, are you still allowed to hitchhike in those countries? It's like, is, is, is that still a common thing? So I've seen people will do like music live out in public and it's just like whatever. There's no licenses or permits or any of that BS that America likes to do. America likes to, you know, prevent people from having free speech by coming up with these stupid laws like, can't, you know, can't block traffic, which everybody will go, see, I agree with. Yeah, but you only agree with it when it's something that you, you know, don't like. If some movement that you hate is doing it, you're like, that's wrong. But if somebody else is doing it, you're like, God bless them. They're America's great. Block the traffic. Rawr! You know, like people do that crap all the time. So I don't know. In Europe, I know it's just kind of like whatever. People don't care over there. People in America just kind of got six up their butt. It's kind of a crappy country at times. It's a great country, but it's got its moments. Oh man.